Firefighters are starting to get a grip on the wildfire that's burning through Bastrop County. They estimate it is now 30% contained. Over 785 homes have been lost. But officials now say only 34,000 acres burned. That is lower than some earlier estimates. We've learned the identity of one of the people killed in that fire, 48-year-old Michael Troy Farr, an electrician for the city of Austin found dead at his home between Bastrop and Smithville. And firefighters continue to work to keep the flames from spreading. Officials released a preliminary list of the homes they know for sure burned. That is online right now at KXAN.com. KXAN's Jared Wise joins us live from the Bastrop County this morning with more on firefighting efforts there. Jared? Well, Shannon, good morning there. As you can see behind me, donations are still stacking up here at the convention center. Now, we do have a new number for you this morning. I know everyone listening has been hearing a lot of numbers being thrown around, but we, as the, when it comes to the structures that were destroyed, homes, 785. Now we understand 1,386 homes, barns, and other structures, which don't always include, would don't also include homes. They include all kinds of structures have been destroyed. That number, again, is 1,000. 1,386 homes, barns, whatever uh, other structures that have been destroyed. Now, when it comes to support from the firefighters, they've been pouring in from all over the state and all over the country, and that has hopefully helped with this fire. Obviously made a big dent in the fire yesterday by getting some kind of containment, but it's going to be a very long road for the residents here who have lost nearly everything. Now, yesterday for the first time, just over 200 residents had their worst fears realized. A list of addresses of homes that were destroyed by the fire were posted here at the convention center. Now, the homes listed were mainly from the Circle D neighborhoods near where that fire started. Many looking at the paper walked away in tears. Now, the list is only about a quarter of the homes that were destroyed. Homes farther south have not yet been posted because the area is still too unstable to gather all the necessary information, but that list will likely be added a little bit later today. Now, also yesterday, KXAN's Doug Shoup and photojournalist Juan Salinas had a chance to tag along with a state representative and go in Inside the fire zone. They visited the Tahitian village and Colona Vista neighborhoods, some of the worst hit areas. As you can see from the pictures, they're unbelievable. Charred vehicles, burned ash where houses once were. Like many fires, you can see how unpredictable they can be. One house would be untouched by the flames, while others right next to them would be completely wiped out. Now it's hard to look out even for Bastop's fire chief. Utter devastation. You know. It's heartbreaking to me as fire chief that I've, on my watch, lost this many homes. And I can't explain it. Now, for those who were evacuated and their homes were not destroyed, it could still be several weeks before they're actually able to return to their homes because it may take that long for power to actually be restored. Now, some residents have been able to go into the area to check on their homes, and that's pretty much parts of the area that are farther north of the fire line. However, that's not a possibility for everyone, and law enforcement officers are urging residents to please be as patient as possible as that process will continue. We're live in Bastrop. Jared Wise, KXAN News.